welcome back everybody to the next episode of Chrono Cross. This is my first time recording in like two or three weeks. Now, I have a goal. What is that goal, soul? I hear you saying, well, it's a goal I've never done in my life. Ever, ever, ever. Uh, first off, I need to get Sprig out of my party. Um, mainly because I need someone with a proper grid. And might as well put Zoa in. Ah, let's put... It doesn't matter who we put in, in all honesty, so I'm just going to put Zoa in. Um, I'm going to attempt to beat a boss that normally you beat through, like, means of, um, uh, how do I say it? Being cheeky, being smart. It's a sphinx. So, we're going to equip the star fragment, the power seal, stone helmet for defense, and the yellow plate to absorb, uh, natural uh, yellow attacks so you have evil eye i need you to have strengthen i know i saw one on what's his face i'm gonna see if you happen to have another one doesn't look like it so we're gonna stay take that from you move give it to all the way down give it to you um then links I need turn green I seriously only have one strength in? I don't know what I do know is I'm gonna do stuff like this I just, I just need a bunch of cures at this point. So, I don't know if this is going to work. I really, really don't know if this is going to work. Um, hopefully it does. And if it doesn't, well, who knows? You might not even see it. But, uh, lastly, I need you to have a Dreamer Scarf. Mental Pendant deal. Magic Defense. Quite a bit of Magic Defense, actually. Uh, Dreamer Scarf. Good. And you will also get a Dreamer's Scarf. Um. Oh. Can I do it? The answer is I don't know. Also, the question is, am I in the right world? I want to say yes. Yeah, we've got to be in a different area than which, a different world from which we fought the dragon. We fought the dragon in Homeworld. I think. Whew. Sorry, I'm like really nervous. Really nervous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And. Yeah. Um, go away. No! Okay, good. <laughs> uh. Nervous. Oh, do I have to do I have to close this up, or or is this world already on it? Can't remember. Do I do it from here? I think I do it from here. Yeah. Well, yeah. I couldn't jump up. To, I'm dumb. I couldn't jump from the, up here down down there until I get up here. What I'm going to do is use a save state. Because I don't feel like making a hard save for this. Let's see if we can do it. Looks like the dragon does not exist in this world. Glad I brought him. But so, what's that thing on the ledge up there? I don't think we've uh, ever seen a monster like that before. Let thou who disturb the peace of the land be punished. It's coming down. 
I like to believe that the Sphinx is a woman. I don't actually know. In fact, it might show us its gender if we if we select it. Get it down. Give me a V. I am the Creo Sphinx, and thou hast trespassed on my domain. Why must thou turmoil to the land bring? Now turmoil unto thee I give. Depending on how thou meet this trial, thou may be allowed to live here leave. However, if this be an island to which no man has visited for aeons, and the Creo Sphinx is grown quite bored. If thou possessest the courage to match thy wits to mine, thy sins may be forgiven when thou answers correctly to th my question six. Now riddle me this. Uh, you do, you are a male. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to start off with an eagle eye on Thurlinx. So normally he'll ask, he'll ask you questions and you will respond with, um, with, uh, elements. But if you beat him, it's just, you just did it. You, you're done. You did the thing. Good job. Um, Yes. Put none. To hominicis? Is this like Latin or something? Thou sayest thou canst answer, not answer my questions. Then fuck them. Yep, that's Latin. And what have I to do with thee? Be gone from my sight. I be in Malem Rem. So, we have just pissed her off. And let's hope we can do the damage. Now, I am doing more damage than the person whose guide I watched to this. That, um... That was like six higher, no, seven star level higher than me. Um, but as you can see, the goal. Oh, I messed this up. I mean, I didn't mess it up, but I just I didn't optimize. But yeah, Fun Guy and Zoa are gonna die. They're ju they were literally just there to buff. Um, Cause that's what's gonna happen. Like every round is this. Now the guy I watched, they didn't utilize the yellow plate, they utilized a uh, magic gate. But Earthquake could still sprain us if we um, didn't have the star fragment which protects against um, elements. So what I'm going to do is this and this and alright, we got forever zero. I'll have to show that off. Now I'm going to turn us green, so we'll do even or damage. Because it's yellow, we're going to be green. We've been doing 500 per hit. At least I think this will work. This is the only thing that can kill us, by the way, is melee. However, when he hits us with those, um... Oh, God, that's great. He has, like, 13 grand health, by the way. So this will take... It'll take more than 13 rounds because, um... The thing will eventually wear off. So I'm going to use Forever Zero because might as well see it. We're going to go to... It's going to reset us anyways. To me, this is one of the coolest, um... Things coolest tech skills in the game. Oh, it's just so Void-esque. And I love the Void. Which is probably what gave me a big attraction to Lovecraft when I started getting into his mythos. Ah, eh, okay damage. I should have equipped Lynx with like multiple, you know, um, uh, what are they called? Oh, my cheesecake. Oh, because there's a green on the field and less yellow. I'm a jeebus. I'm a genius. Um, that's why we did more damage, derp. Um, but yeah, I should have equipped him with more green spells. But hey, look, we're going to heal here. It's fine. Yeah, this will heal us, like I just said. Uh, but yeah, this is the fight. This is basically us hoping we don't get physical to death. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so strong, guys. Um. Arrow Sausage! This is just to put green on the field, in all honesty. It's not for damage, because we probably do more damage with our one. Yeah, we're just gonna go with our one next time. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, even with the yellow plate, and this does no damage to us, it, um. It would. It would still give us sprain. With sprain, I believe you do half damage. And ain't no one got time for that. 
Wow, this is lasting a while. Strength is worn off. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But hey, we get to see... Um, also, by the way, I should have put down a trap for Thunderstorm. Oh, we already have it. But still, it's always good to have more, right? Yeah, I guess. But yeah, we could have put down traps for Thunderstorm. And that would have been dandy. But I don't really need it. I don't really need it. Now, Soul, why are you fighting this thing if it's so incredibly strong and OP and basically impossible if you don't have a bunch of yellow plates? I mean, it's not. You can use Magic Negate, but still, I don't feel like it. Um, because I can. It looks like I actually want to go down to... Um, uh, what is it? To beyond zero because it'll give me more. And I might as well put black on the field because I am black again. So that will strengthen Lynx's attacks. Damn. That was painful. If he does that again, we will die. So, I just may want to heal, like, just in case. Just because I'm not sure he's going to use... Um, well, if I go into negatives, he should use elements, but you can't be sure. See, he didn't. I'm glad I did that. Though I might use Weaken on him just to be a safety. And it looks like Eagle Eye is finally worn off. Let's use... The, I didn't bring low res. I am dumber than seven types of rocks. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, he's weaker now. How much? Apparently an unnoticeable amount. Bowsers. Wait. Eagle not what? I ought to be faddled. Mm, let's use a weak one. We'll use a heal. Because it's green. Which will technically weaken his physical attacks. And, um... It'll... It'll... Wow. Healed us for a hundred. Okay, and he's gonna heal us anyway, so that's... Great. Ladies and gentlemen, stay hydrated. I'm drinking some water. But yes, I never finished the sentence. Um, so, Soul, if, if he's so powerful, why would you fight him? Well, you see, he gives us an item that um, makes us way too powerful. And I've never had it before, so I'd like to try it out. Um, sure. I mean, if I'm going to cast a spell on him, might as well do more damage. I don't know if it actually works on him. Like, I don't know if the game tells you if something resists things or if things can be resisted. I, I just do not know. That's a mechanic of the game that I'm unfamiliar with. Is Eagle Eye going to last forever? Because if that's the case, I'm okay with it. Just putting that out there. Hey, okay, let's use an Ice Blast. Nice and quick animation. Great for speed running because it does a lot of damage and, again, very fast. Earthquake, on the other hand, takes a bit of time. Takes a bit of time. I do love how Earthquake actually shakes your screen. Whenever you use it, watch the top of the screen. It gets compressed a little bit, and I think that's just a, a really fun thing. Give him another thunderstorm. Yeah, I do hope this is interesting to you guys because I know it's just one really long battle. How is Eagle Eye still in effect? That must be a glitch. Zero, zero, zero complaints. Um. Ooh, uh, let's Graviton just to see if we can get Black on the field to then use Light Hook. I think that'll be a smarter idea. 76 damage is 76 damage. Wowzers, you're powerful. You're a strong man. Did... Near thought I, I, there'd be humans who could defeat the Freo Sphinx by force alone. My way of life intrigues me to conquer all obstacles with brawn rather than by brain. But I warn ye, woe shall surely befall one such as thee. Hail! I have never done this before in my life. This is a first for Soul Christ. Oh my god. I've only ever seen this thing be like, okay, cool, I'm gonna leave now, but I, but I beat it. I beat it. 
and we get to see the thigh of Zoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I haven't got a mid level yet. Good to know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got the sunglasses. And that's literally the only thing we needed. Uh, so, sunglasses. I've never equipped this before. I'm excited. Increases the damage done by all kinds of attacks you make on your enemies. Um, so yeah, we're basically a god now? That's, that's how it works. So, I found... Um, I found different opinions, for lack of a better term, of how this thing works. Um, so I'm, I'm not 100% certain. Um, some say it increases all damage you do, both physical and elements, by, um, wait, side scope? Oh, 87, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Um, some say it increases all damage you do by like 20 or 25%, and another source states that it makes you, it treats you as if you are always the opposite element of the enemy making you always do that bonus damage i don't know which one's accurate so if any of you know in the comments let me know now if any of you got saw a guy named vest vest gear i believe it is it's always hard for me to remember certain names um in the comments he was talking about a long time ago i should steal from from harold or harley back when we were still surge because she has something called the moon glasses. They're essentially the ultimate defensive item, while the sunglasses are apparently the ultimate physical item. So I'm very excited about that. You're wearing the Kung Fu shoes? I guess that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, that, that was my goal. I thought it would take longer, but damn, we beat the Sphinx. Um, so I'm actually really curious to see what kind of damages we can do. So I'm going to test it, not on those things, but I'll, I'll test it on these things. Um, so I'm going to take it off first. I think this will be a great way to kind of really test its power. We're going to use fierce attacks, obviously. I mean, obviously, if it works, it'll work with our elements as well, so I'm not going to test that, per se. Or maybe I will. It's actually a really good idea. Let's test that as well. Oh, there's only one. That's okay. There's another one in the other room. So, 496 damage. I also want to see what Glide Hook does to see the differences and all. So 496 and fucking 750. And ladies and gentlemen, we don't have the sunglasses on. 496, 750. Remember those numbers, because I flip and won't. Oh, hey! Oh, damn it! <laughs> Now I have to do it again. Oh, he didn't get a thing up. Damn. Now I have to do it again. Oh, Sprig gets a strength up, a fun guy doesn't. Son of a chicken strip on a bacon burrito. I guess I have to try this again because we just got stronger. Son of a taco. That's okay. Because there should be one right here. I was correct. I love doing comparisons like this. Now, let me rephrase that. I'm always interested in comparisons like this. I never do them, so this is actually really new to me. Um. On. 510. What did we do? 496? That means we did 12 more damage with that one strength. That is actually a really cool number to know. So 510. And 776. Holy buckets on a Batmobile. 510776. Wowzers. Whew. Just whew. Five ten seven seventy six. I am terrified to see what we actually go up to. Five ten, 
776. Let's see what this is all about. Well, if things go as I suspect, this will kill it. <laughs> oh, we did 127 additional damage. WTF. Eight. Wow. Just, just, just wow. That is bananas and 12 types of pajamas. And then we are lastly going to try this again to see what the 776 moves up to from our uh, gliding hook. Presuming there's more than one enemy. And if there's not, I'm going to be a wee bit annoyed. Boom. Perfect. Holy cake. Never had sunglasses before. It's so cool. <laughs> All right, from 776 up to 967. That is nine short of 200 additional damage. Oh. Raise your hands if you're excited about these sunglasses. So wear my sunglasses at night and I don't know the rest of the words, but um, I was originally going to name this episode Riddle Me This, but, well, that's what I named this episode when I fought the Creo Sphinx in my original Let's Play, but back then, I did the Riddle. Uh, so if you are curious about how the Riddle goes, go to my original Let's Play, uh, which is one, it's like the second or third playlist on my YouTube channel, so check it out, and look for the episode Riddle Me This. It'll be close to the same number as this one, by the way, because I'm relatively on the same track, and you can see how that one goes, because I was thinking of recording the the riddle version again but i just don't know if you guys are interested in that let me know and maybe i can do it but um i think i'll wait, call this i wear my sunglasses at night because that's just funny uh, but ladies and gentlemen this is a short episode but for good reason because we are going to be moving into story 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 because that's what counts at the end of the day but ladies and gentlemen Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. And I hope you can uh, be excited that we have this amazing, amazing accessory. Do take care. But until next time, as shit's about to go down, Bye bye for now.